Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see down below, it is another me episode. Yay! I've noticed that you guys really, really enjoyed the me episodes and I kind of figured that, okay, so we must make this a regular thing because I feel there is nothing better in this world than to motivate and inspire someone else to think differently, to do differently, to become better versions of themselves than they are today, right? So I figured that this here topic, as you can see down below, is very, very poignant, especially at this time of the year. So take it maybe for instance that, oh, are we in the video already? Okay, yeah, okay, we're here, we're in it, we're in it, we're in it. Take it for instance that you have reached the later part of the year, which is what we're in now, and you haven't achieved all the things that you've wanted to achieve in 2018. Maybe you got stuck along the way, maybe there were obstacles, maybe there was just something, something guarding you from reaching that pinnacle point that you wanted to reach in terms of achieving your goals. This is why I wanted to do this topic now because I felt like learning to wait is a true, true test of will. It takes true, true discipline in terms of learning to wait and it is something that we all struggle with. I don't think there is anyone in the world that can sit and actually say that, you know what, I'm pretty good at this waiting game. Like I'm pretty good at waiting for my time to shine and I'm pretty good at waiting for my moment to flourish. We're all bad at it. At some point we have struggled, we've thought about it, we've thrown our toys out the cot wondering why is my moment not coming? And this is the reason for this video because I feel like it is a good token and tip to start into the next year by learning to wait and learning to exercise patience. So we're gonna get into this video, we're gonna talk about it. Welcome to the next Motivate and Empower episode and yeah. Okay, so let's be honest. When I think of waiting, I just think of the phrase, wait, wait, wait on the Lord. Now, for me, I am not somebody who's going to sit here and talk about faith and religion. I have great people that I know of who talk about these things really, really well. Nosi Pongklanga and Lisa M being two of the people that I watch all the time when it comes to faith and religion and just thinking differently. And ins they inspire me so much, those girls, because I feel like their faith is like on 100 and mine is not quite there yet. But... I do like to motivate and I do love to inspire someone to think differently and to um, exercise their life differently, you know, do things differently than the way they would typically normally do it. So think about the concept of waiting. We are not a patient people. Is that, is that, is that the right English. We are not patient. We're generally in a society where we want everything quick and fast. We are not patient when we're sitting in traffic. We're not patient when waiting for our degrees. We know that a degree takes three years to achieve, but one year in, you're already frustrated and waiting on your life. You're just like, but I cannot flourish. I'm looking at all these people doing wonderful things on social media and achieving and living their best life and achieving all their goals. Why am I not there yet? We are not patient people. And it's actually really, 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 really sad to see that. But at the same time, it is a true test of the wills in terms of uh, waiting. Waiting takes discipline. It takes a whole lot of character. It takes strength. It takes discipline. It takes determination. Because a lot of the time, we will want to do something and it doesn't quite work out the way we would like it to but at the same time we just after that we just get upset we throw our toys out the cot we're just like you know what whatever i've tried this it didn't work out and we forget that waiting has nothing to do with us it has to do with the work that god is doing with you you wait on the lord while you wait is while he works on you. So you need to understand that waiting doesn't mean, waiting is not a punishment. Waiting is not, is not, is not a little kid with a magnifying glass and you're this little ant and he's just zooming this magnifying glass in on you and the sun is streaming down and he's waiting to fry you, right? That's not it. Waiting says, look, the time is not yet now. The time is coming 
but it is not now. So you need to exercise this point or reach this point in your life where you feel like you, you, you embrace the waiting period. You embrace the fact that, you know what, waiting is not going to kill me. Waiting is God working on me for something better. So maybe I wasn't meant to get this promotion this year. Maybe I wasn't meant to buy the car that I wanted to buy. By this time this year, I told myself I would have a car and I don't. Wait. It doesn't necessarily mean you're not going to get it. While you wait, you do the work. While you do the work, God does the work on you. It's just that simple. It's a very difficult concept for us to grasp especially when it comes to waiting because we're not a patient people we're really not we want things to come quickly we want quick money we want quick promotions because of what we see on social media like for me social media is so dangerous i freaking hate it sometimes because i feel like no matter how strong you are and how strong willed you are and how not you know, you're not pressured easily. Social media can show you that you can be. It's so, so difficult to watch your peers achieving so many things in life and, and opening so many doors for themselves. And here you are feeling stagnant and you're feeling like nothing is working for you. Instead, everything is working against you. And you have no idea that that is all part and parcel of the plan. Waiting sucks. Let's be honest. Let's just generally be honest. Waiting sucks. It's not fun. But at the end of the day, it's a lesson. It's, it's, it's you being taught something about yourself in terms of how can you handle this waiting period? Can you even handle this waiting period? Is it okay for you? Is it good for you? And it teaches you a little bit more about yourself along the way. If you are not patient, you'll know that you're not patient. You'll know because every single thing that happens to you, you kind of feel like, wow, hey mate, like I have been waiting. I have been at this job for two years and I haven't gotten an increase and I haven't done this and I haven't done this and I can't do this. And here are my peers just living their best life while I'm sitting here stagnant. Wow, when is my degree coming? When is my degree coming? I've been waiting on my degree. It's not about that. At the end of the day, waiting is a challenge, but it is, I keep going back to it because I feel like it is so true. It's a test of your character. It's a test of your will. It's, if you can wait and exercise patience along the way and patience along this, this route of you waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting as exhausting as it may be, if you can do that, it, it's, it's a testament to how strong-willed you are. It's a testament to how you believe that not everything is going to come at the time that you would want it to, but it will come. But it will come. So at the end of the day, no matter how despondent you may be, no matter how you may feel like this year has just been so tragic, it's been so tragic. I didn't have a great year myself, like you're not the only one. If you feel like this year it was tragic, listen, <laughs> I'm there with you. I didn't have a great year myself. However, you waiting and believing that things will change, it is about your faith at this point. You know that this period of waiting has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with what God is working on for me. So it has nothing to do with you. All you can do is do what you can at your level but this has nothing to do with you. It's like a higher power. It's like you're here and there's something working on you here. And you need to understand that at the end of the day, patience is a virtue. They do not lie when they say patience is a virtue because it's exhausting as hell. It's exhausting as hell, but it is a virtue. And it's something that you need to incorporate within yourself that knowing that while you wait, it also doesn't mean that you failed. You haven't failed. You're still working. The fact that you haven't given up, you're in this waiting period, but you haven't given up. You're still, you're still here. You're still here. Here's your goal and you're still here. And you're moving real slow, but you haven't given up. It means so much more than somebody who has already decided that, you know what, I'm not about this anymore. I'm done. I couldn't be bothered anymore. The whole point, I feel like I just I just spoke in this one because I just wanted to speak. There's no pointers, there's no look out for this, that, that, and the other. It's just to ensure that 
while you wait, you're not the only one that's waiting. We're all waiting for our blessings. We're all waiting for our miracles. We're all waiting for our time to shine. We're all waiting for our moment to flourish. We're all waiting to just be like great, better versions of ourselves, even though Whatever it is that you're waiting for, it doesn't matter if you're waiting for that promotion, it doesn't matter if you're waiting for that new car, it doesn't matter if you're waiting for love, for marriage, for a child, whatever it is that you are waiting for, the time for it will come. It might not be now, but it will come, especially if you put it into the universe and you put it into your heart and it becomes something that you center your life around that, you know what? I will achieve this. No matter what happens, my moment will come. It may be five months from now. It may be three years from now. It doesn't matter. The whole point is that you keep pushing. You keep going. You don't ever, ever stop. So in any case, I'm going to end it off here. This week's task is to exercise a little bit more patience with everything that you have been waiting on, with everything that you're frustrated about, wondering to yourself, why is this moment not happening for me? Why am I not shining, man? Wait. Before you start complaining, before you start throwing your toys out the cot, before you start even thinking, merely thinking of giving up, wait, wait, and exercise your faith and try and grow your faith and your strength and your, you know, just your discipline in this waiting period and see what happens. Don't forget that while you wait is the moment and time that God works on you. That's it. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to go. And yeah, as we wait, we wait together and our time will come. Our moment to shine will come. I'll see you in the next one.